The Earth's radius is about 6,300 kilometers. So if you started digging, how long would it take to get to the middle? Well, that's exactly what the Russians tried to do in the 1970s. It's 23 centimeters in diameter and it's called the Kora Super Deep Borehole. And it breaks the first rule. Never dig straight down. Towards the end of the space race, when they knew they'd lost, the Soviet Union said, Well, they beat us going up, so why don't we just beat them going down? They decided on a spot in Pechensky district, which is in northwest Russia, near Norway. The drilling began in May 1970 with the Orlmesh 4E, which is used to drill oil holes and stuff. Four years later, they reached so deep that they needed to make a new machine that could dig even deeper. So they made the Orlmesh 15,000. Named after the new goal, 15,000 meters! But just two years before, in 72, the US decided that they also wanted to beat the Soviet Union to the race to hell. So they started their own hole in the most hellish state possible. Yes, it was Oklahoma. It was named the Bertha Rogers Hole. And in 1974, while the Soviet Union was making new digging tools, the US's hole reached 9,500 83 meters. All this in just 1.5 years. Guess the Oklahoma's really wanted to go back to hell. Anyways, the US hole held this world record until June of 1979, which is when the Soviet hole surpassed it. And they kept drilling. In October of 1982, the hole reached 11,662 meters. But then for some reason, in January 1983, they decided to make a new hole. In the existing first hole, at 9,300 meters, they started the second hole. The second hole reached 12,000 meters that same year which is when they stopped drilling to do some research celebrate flex on the u.s whatever but this might have actually hurt them because when they started drilling again a 5,000 long drilling part twisted off and plunged to his death so the second hole was abandoned at 12,066 meters. The third hole was started in 1986 at 7,000 meters in the first hole. The third hole reached 12,262 meters in 1989. There would later be a breakdown of some kind in June of 1990, so it was also abandoned. Spoiler alert, this would be the deepest hole and it's not even 0.1% of the Earth's diameter. They made a fourth hole in January 1991 from 9,600 meters from the third hole. This was around the time that the USSR left the chat and Russia joined the party. Party. So they celebrated by stopping the drilling in 1992 at 11,882 meters. There was also a fifth hole that started and stopped in 1994 at 8,500 meters. This time they ran out of money so they just stopped drilling entirely. All this digging did do some good things though. They found some fossils and water which surprised them. Bruh, ask any gamer and they'll tell you this basic information. If they kept digging, they would have found diamonds, the deep dark, and eventually bedrock. This whole endeavor cost over 100 million US dollars which averages out to about $2,500 per foot or $208 per inch. Wait a minute. According to that math, I'm worth $52! Let's go! Anyways, right as this happened, all of Oklahoma was sucked into the U.S. hole and the U.S. was saved from the horrors of living with Oklahoma as an official state. I'm just kidding, that'll happen in 2044, but this random hole in Oklahoma does give it the most biggest average elevation difference of any state. And today, the Russian hole has been blocked off and there's just rubble around it.